Hello, Buzz and Gods, my name is Hotsasty and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where we are back here with our purple science production. Um, last time we added another steel production facility down here, which is apparently used. And I also had then to concern ourselves with uh, making sure uh, pollution wise that does not have too many negative effects and therefore I explored a bit around here to see uh, any land mass down here from uh, where we might get some attacks and it looks like uh, here we do have a chokehold, uh, a bottleneck uh, on small land bridge so uh, if that comes uh, as far we can cut off here with a wall and uh, hefty defense but by the looks of it down here we have quite a bit of water so that at least is fine um, what's not yet fine is the amount of purple science that we produce. Let's have a look at the last 10 minutes. We can see we had one peak here, um, but that's not, not nearly enough. We are only at 7.2 per minute. That's one science pack or a bit more than one science pack every 10 seconds. Um, that's not where we want to be. So let's look at where the trains are. Both of them are standing at rail loading. Um, uh, then let's see why they are standing there. Waiting destination full and I think the next stop is electric furnace pickup this was the problem last time already where we did not have enough steel uh, to uh, kick in the production and we only have one train going around here this one train is trying to pick up stone bricks uh, stone bricks up here maybe we could produce uh, a bit faster in here we these basically are not doing anything uh, but i also think we need a second train for our furnace supply and that at least should help a bit so let's make these two improvements adding another train and uh, um, seeing to that stone patch that we get more stone bricks out of it uh, we might even think about uh adding another stone brick facility somewhere but one thing after the other up here at the stone patch i added a few more uh, miners here on this side so all the furnaces are mostly producing but if we want to know do we produce enough uh, bricks to for what we need and for that we can have a look uh, here so let's have a look at the the last 10 minutes where we see we have a production of uh, a bit under 350 per minute but we are actually requiring the double amount if we look at it uh, over a whole hour we are still consuming more that we can produce and that's a clear indication 
we need a second station for stone. And luckily, we have another stone patch up here, so that should not be a, a big problem. Uh, however, I don't have the materials on me. Need a few more furnaces, maybe uh, minus should be enough um, uh, so that we can set up uh, a second uh, stone patch here for stone bricks. And I think we can go with a similar setup as we have for uh, all our other ore mines um, to get more out of it. By looking at this, we have three furnaces sitting here and it seems four miners are not enough so i am thinking maybe six six minus three furnaces so uh, that's two for two minus per furnace that ratio should be good so let's put that second uh stone brick facility in place so we can at least uh, navigate around that issue. This looks like a decent setup. Uh, I have extended right off one additional row of miners, because here on this side we were one short anyway. On this side this one will not have too much stone left. So all that needs to be done is get that going. And then I have to figure out how to best connect that. Okay. Two electric furnaces short. Let's see. If I had 20 stone, I might be able to solve that problem right there so let's see what we can do there and of course as we are lacking in stone bricks um, we will put those back in there um, for connection I am thinking We don't need this one here. Um, so maybe we could have that going that way. And that connecting this way. I think that should work. And then bit of power going that way and that should kick things off here and should help us quite a bit with supplying the, uh, the stone bricks that we need and yeah if we actually had inserters there that would also help. Um, all furnaces are lit up, so let's have a look at the, at the production. Uh, we can see production went up. Uh, we are looking at the at the blue line, and. There we can see we came down from a from a high level and if we look at it over uh, over 
10 minutes then we are getting closer we have 400 plus we consumed 500 plus so i think we have to give this a bit of time in order uh, to get the the full time span we are looking at for this setup to work as well and then here on this side um, maybe what we can do here is move those stones around a bit and have a bit more on this side should also help and we could also play a bit around with uh, productivity and speed modules however as i'm thinking we do have enough stone patches here there they have quite a bit of stone in them and then i'm sure out there there are more so one one down there they're hiding a bit but uh yeah here we also have an eight million one so i i think we do not need to to uh, have productivity or speed on here which is can slap more of these setups on the system if we need it um, and of course picking up the output would also be a good idea don't you think so all right then let's wait a bit to see how this new facility affects our setup our production for the stone bricks is looking good now we have 800 plus uh, on the production side and we are at around 500 on the consumption side and now we are we are pretty stable here uh, and consumption it, it goes up it, it has these peaks but then there are also long uh, uh, flat stretches so over the span of time that's okay however i did a bit of a boo boo uh, not sure how many of you noticed if you did please leave a comment down below this train we set up that's another purple science delivery train but what we actually wanted to have was uh, electric furnace delivery train because we only had one of those and so let's copy that one that's more like it thousand thousand five hundred yeah should be good uh the thing here with uh, with these trains is that sometimes you have to be careful um with the materials that that you load because if you have basically a wagon full of materials uh pack crammed full so no placeholders like like here um then you have to set the filters so you don't accidentally insert one item more uh, in there because that would then lead to 
uh, other items not having the place to put in there and the whole ratio is offset and uh, you are not I mean in the worst case your whole whole system crashes but it's more likely that you're just not producing at top efficiency uh, as good as you could so let's try get over this rail line without dying and then head over back here to our stone furnace no electric furnace uh, production facility to see how we are doing there we need a bit of uh, movement ourselves, not doing everything uh, on uh, out of the of the map view. And here we can see uh, no trains wait uh, delivering something at the moment. Um, both stations. Oh, here is a train coming. That's that's great, uh, and that should then help with uh, one train being able to pick things up and what I can see here we have a slight surplus of stone here a few steel pieces left I would imagine yeah the surplus on um, on red circuits are here in these chests so the materials do not back up uh, in front of the same assembly machines so that's that's a bit of uh, a drawback there um, but I think um, it will do and we can see that working. Uh, I think as long as we cannot ensure faster delivery here, we do not need to worry about speeding up the, uh, the assembly, assembly line because only if we basically have these chests full and uh, back here these chests empty that would be a sign that our uh, machines are not fast enough and we have to do something about it but as it looks we are okay at least on on that front and we have stone loading. We are going to steel pickup. At least trains are are moving. Um I would not add another train because we only have two delivery stations. Otherwise, we would have to add a waiting bay for the delivery. Because we don't want to have trains sitting at the red circuits pick up because the delivery stations are full. But as you can see, the next train is is already coming in here then here we go to to the steel and uh, I, I think we now have a much better flow and maybe the stone bricks really was the bottleneck for for this build so before we end this episode, let a bit of time pass to see uh, how the improvements that we did on here 
uh, actually affects um, actually affects the the production of the purple signs. Looking at this graph, we made quite the improvement. At the beginning of this episode, we were at around uh, seven per minute or um, one science pack every 10 seconds. Now we are at 17. That's still a far cry away from where we want to be, but the improvement is more than 100% better. So probably there are other things that need to be done. Um, but one thing that I noticed is things like this, where we have train queues. And the reason for that is that the train in the station um, wants to go uh, to the next station, but that destination is full. But by saying they want to go there, uh, they basically, um, they basically uh, uh, say, okay, this station is free, another train can come in. And, and by doing so, they are blocking the pass. Not good. So let's add that here. Um, exactly like this. And the thing we could do here is having this signal there. We need to reverse out here manually. And then of course, another train has reserved that sta station, but they cannot even reach it. Hmm. Oh. I'm driving backwards, so I have to steer in the other direction in order to get in there. Um, then let's make this automatic and skip to the next station. That should have solved this problem, but I guess there are a few trains that frequent these uh, uh, refueling stops that don't have a waiting stop after the fueling stop and therefore use the fueling stop for waiting, which basically causes that problem. So maybe that's also thing we can tackle next time because this is probably one of the overall problems that just slow the whole factory uh, down more than is needed. All right, hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, join next time for more Beltless Factoria. Until then, goodbye.